Hey everybody, today is May 21st and it has been about three weeks since my last update. The plants are doing really well except I have a few um, aphids problem that just keep coming back. I treated them, they died off and then a few weeks later somehow they just come back. But I'll show you that in a second. The first plant here is the ahi habanero. Beautiful fruits, they're ready to be picked. Uh, this is the best time to pick them. They're really nice they're just to munch on. They don't have much heat so I guess you can just pick them whenever you like. This is the second year plant. As soon as I pick these, uh, there are more of them that are going to come out. And so I will have fruits probably throughout this season. And here are my two crosses that I put out here later. It's still recovering from the transplant. This is the MOA Scotch Bonnet crossed with a Brazilian ghost red so I'm very excited about these guys here is my Jamaican scotch bonnet yellow uh, it's making a comeback it grew a little bit the leaves are not looking great but I think it still be okay and that's the other one is also making some progress all right next up is the butch tea BTR on top of this guy I grafted a Jamaican scotch bonnet yellow the top of that guy and there it is right there and it's growing really nicely and here is the ghost for overwinter not doing too well I might just pull it out and put some other plants in here here's my pecan overwinter growing really nice in here I have a butch tea BTR another one it's right there next to it and then those are the pecan that uh, the seeds fell off of the parent plant and it just it grew. Bahamian goat not doing too great this is over winter. Uh, this is just an experiment I'm not looking uh, for these guys to do too much so I might just pull them out. Okay my seven pot bubba gum large and this guy's infested check that out. See those uh, I think they're aphids they're, just, they're everywhere. I, I treated this guy already so I separated them Look at that. Nasty looking thing. Yep, they're aphids, alright. If you see aphids, treat them quick because they spread pretty fast. And my bleeding Borg 9, not doing too great. MA War takes two of them. And this one is Butch T CPR. This is a different one. So he's making good progress. Okay, and here are the rest of them. These guys are doing great. Some of them are even fruiting already. And this one here is the MOA Scotch Bonnet. There's some fruit there. And here is my propagated plants. Reaper and two Brazilian ghosts. Oh, these guys are doing awesome. They're just branches as I mentioned in previous video. Uh, I just graft, I mean I just chopped it off, put them in water. They sprouted some roots and I placed them in here. This guy is even having a fruit right there with a crazy stinger. And this is ahi pineapple. I'm just gonna, you don't need this yellow leaf. They're just. This is the Butch T. Tom's Reaper. Doing great also, flowering everywhere. Uh, this year, these guys are much smaller and they're already flowering than before because I had so many problems this year. Okay, here's the seven pot bubblegum large. I'm very excited about this guy. Check these out. See, there's some fruits there. I love the, the shape of this fruit and the way the calyx look. Okay, here's the sugar rush. This plant is just not growing much at all, but it's just putting buds out everywhere. I try to pick them off, but it just keep coming back, so I decided to leave them. Here are MA Wartex two of them in one bucket because I ran out of space that's another MA Vortex this one's doing great Carolina Reaper I'm not looking too great at all we have so much rain recently so uh, that's why these guys are yellow they're probably just drowning I have to come out here and pour the bucket out to prevent them from drowning and here is the chocolate bootla this guy's making crazy progress I'm really happy about how he's looking. Oh and uh, I have a lot of viewers ask why do I have these white pipes up here and the reason for that is I was planning to fill the soil all the way up to the top as it grows 
and then cover this up with plastic so it would prevent moisture from escaping and when you cover this up the only way to feed water into the reservoir without lifting it up is through here so if you guys are wondering why I do that that's the reason and that method works great for when you go out of town for like a week at a time and there's no one here to water for you cover these up all the way with plastic and then feed it feed water into the reservoir and you can be away for a week and it should be fine next up is white devil's tail and uh, the small one died but I still have one left which is really cool next up is the Jay's red ghost and then this guy I thought they were gonna die but here they are making a comeback flowering everywhere Jamaican scotch bonnet red okay here are a few more of my plants these are Jay's peach ghost Tom chocolate ghost man this guy is looking beautiful and the white labuyo looking great so as I mentioned I didn't top these guys and look at how tall it is it will start to become top heavy very soon so I'm gonna have to stake it up as it grows more and these are guys that I top so you see how sturdy they are and how short so compare the difference much taller much shorter and bushier so you guys make that judgment on your own and decide if you want to or not here's my chocolate scotch bonnet I harvested four fruits off of this guy already and then there one there that started to ripen and here's my surprise plant I just put this guys out here I'll tell you what it is very soon but look at how beautiful he looks that's just buds everywhere so that's this is one of the most anticipated plant and here's a bunch of stuff I just put together because uh, I ran out of space indoor MA Vortex Bahamian Goat and this one here is a cross that I thought did not work it's the MOA Scotch Bonnet cross with a tie and then here uh, I think this is an MOA and then I grafted something else onto that and once the graft took I cut the branch off and then I propagated it in water and it sprouted roots and then I placed it here <laughs> and it lived so this is a very unique guy it's uh, grafted and propagated from a, two branches alright here's the last one uh, Jay's Peach Ghost Tom's Chocolate Ghost it's very compact and small and uh, it has buds everywhere which is nice so I'm uh, very excited about this guy too because I have never seen it before. And here's my other grafted plant that I messed around with, almost killed it. That's one graft there, one graft there, another one graft there, that's dead. I had nine grafts on here but I used it for test uh, with my hydro nutrients, pH and all that stuff and it basically almost killed it. But anyway, it's still alive. So that's pretty much all for the update this week. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it below and also check the description section. I will post some information there. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and share.